All right, we're about to switch gears on y'all ass. We finna jump into prime time Derrick Rose. And this is the 2011 playoffs against the Pacers. This man, he straight tore them apart. Let's not forget, this man is 6'3". He had multiple blocks in this game, multiple steals, damn near 40 points, rebounds, assists, and this shows how fast and quick this man is, how fast his pivot is. Like, the man is quick as fuck, y'all, for real. Y'all think uh, Russell Westbrook and John ja Morant and all these dudes are fast? Had nothing on two, uh, prime Derrick Rose, MVP Derrick Rose. This game right here finna show y'all what I'm talking about. I mean, just pay, pay close attention to this man. His footwork. Like the man gets up and down that court. Like it's not 70, what is it, 90, how long is the court? Uh, is it like 97 feet? Something like that. I might be wrong. But I know this man make it seem like it's 50 feet. This man flies, y'all. And I mean flies up this court. But this is the Derrick Rose that... I remember watching this game. I actually remember watching the game when he hurt himself. I mean, it tore right through me. I knew it was over with. When you see an a injury like that, you know it's going to be different for this man. And when he came back off of that injury, he was okay. But you can tell he was never the same. And, you know, now you hear a lot of people talking, should he be in the Hall of Fame? See, that's the thing about it. He, had, he didn't play good enough to deserve Hall of Fame presidentials, but I believe that if he would have kept playing on that level, if he never would have got hurt, 100% sure he would have been a first ballot Hall of Famer. First ballot. And all because of he hurt his damn self, man. Did y'all see that game when he cried when he scored 50 points? You know why? Because he felt like the old Derrick Rose and the emotions came out. It came out. And I feel bad, man. I feel bad that Derrick Rose can live up to his potential. He can win championships. That's another thing that's eating me up in life. The man should have, like, decided to go to some team. Some team should have picked him up, but, like, these championship caliber teams. Pick Derrick Rose up. Give this man his ring. If anyone deserves his Derrick Rose, he carried the Chicago Bulls. He carried that team. I did not like the Bulls until Derrick Rose became a part of that team. When Jordan left in 98, that was it for the Bulls until Derrick Rose. And I hope he decides to go back his final year, man, before it's all over with for this man. Because I don't like the teams that he's on now. I just don't like it. I mean, he, he deserves much better than that, just like Carmelo Anthony deserved better. But going out the way he went out, nah, I ain't with all that. But Derrick Rose, man, he's the man. He's the man. To me, he's my favorite. My favorite point guard of all time. You know, you, you got Iverson's of the world. You got uh, Isaiah Thomas's of the world and, and all these cats. But Derrick Rose is my dude. For real. All right, let's jump into this shit, y'all. It's about almost seven minutes long. But it's worth every minute. Y'all about to really see Derrick Rose. Shit, I'm getting excited just talking about it because I know this man. He could have hit him off for the bat. Here is Rose inside. Changes hands. Can go either way with either hand. And Derrick Rose gives the Bulls the lead. Noah wanted the ball. He didn't get it early, so it remains in the perimeter. And here is Rose. And he's found. Point basket was what kept Indiana in the game. They shot 56% from three-point range in game one. Boozer down low for first. We're going to look at how Frank Vogel describes Derrick Rose. How about these credentials? Allen Iverson's speed. He has the vision of Jason Kidd. Shooting ability for a point guard of Chauncey Billups. Yep. And he says he has the athleticism of Michael Jordan. Yep. And this United center crowd is dead silent at this point. With under seven and a half to go in the first half. Here is Rose trying to get his team back in the game, and what better way? 
What better way doing what he does best? Coming off the pick and roll, taking a dribble, a hesitation. You don't know if he's going to shoot it or drive it all the way. You don't. The way they're defending Derrick Rose is by going at him on the other end, trying to wear him down, show him different looks. Here is Dang for three. He's got it. Luol Dang. In his six-year career, coming into this year, had 101 threes. He had 115 this year alone. Shows you what an off-summer, an off-season of commitment can do. It can make you better. And Hibbert has his shot blocked inside. Good defensive play by yeah, Gibson. And on the other end, Rose goes in, and the foul is called. You see how quick that man is to the hole? Oh, Indiana by four, nearly five to go here, spinning his way in his rows, and he lays it in. These guys are ready to play, and the big men of Indiana are showing up. Here's Korber. That's a two-point field goal, but Korber was four for four from three and hit the big three with 48 seconds to go in game one to give the Bulls their first lead of the game. Rose inside gets the foul. No basket after that. Still with that situation, no Yao Ming. I'm surprised you can get rid of that one constant. Rose tips the pass away and lays it in. Mm. You know, I almost forgot how good a defender this man was. Under two minutes to go in the first half, and the Bulls cut the deficit to five. Nearly a minute to go in the first half. Five-point lead for the Pacers, who have led this entire second quarter. Here is Joaquin Noah with a turnaround, and now it's down to three. Bulls have scored six in a row, under a minute to go. Rose for three, and still goes empty. And the offensive rebound, Rose lays it in. Good pass from Boozer to Rose. Who, by the way, now 0 for 12 in threes. But if he's going to get him with the lay in, what difference does it make? Two point game. You know, everybody talks about height. It is very unfair to be short, fast, and can jump higher. Yeah. Here is Rose for three. He do it with such finesse. For real. A 16 to 4 run by the Bulls. Sometimes you have a great MVP player, Kobe, Dwayne Wade, LeBron James. Defenders are like deer in the head, like scared to make a move. That hasn't been the way with Indiana. They at least have a blindfold and a cigarette and said, we're ready. Do us whatever you want to do to us because we're playing hard tonight. I love seeing that intensity by point guards. Bogans hitting the three. First points of the game for the Bulls. Here's Keith Bogans. Timeout. Now you hear the crowd. There we go. Rolls. Marking the third quarter drive. That's right, Derrick Rose is the catalyst for this team. The smallest guy on the court, but it has the biggest heart. Attacking inside, he says, wait, I know you don't think I can shoot threes. Let me hit you with this. And then there's his greatest asset. His greatest asset, trusting his teammates. Great job by Derrick Rose in the second half. Leaves it for Rose. Look how quick he gets in. Derrick Rose. Man. 20 points for Rose. Earlier this year, he had 42. Matching his career high, that was on March 18th against these same Pacers. So it's a three-point game. A lot of people didn't even think it would be this tight at this juncture in game two. And the foul called Hibbert. Rose looked That's all you can do to that man. You cannot stand in front of him. Once he put that ball on the floor and start his penetration, you cannot stand in front of this man. You have no choice but to foul him. And you better make sure you foul him good because this man can switch it up in midair. Inside for Boozer, and Rose leaves it for Thomas outside, hits the two. Hurt Thomas with the basket. Ever expected Tom Thibodeau to say, we're not playing with energy. That's the last thing you thought the Bulls would not have in this game. Here's exactly. the turnover. Three on two. Brewer stops it through. They, they so worried about Derrick Rose. They so worried about this man. And they said, here's some energy for you. Let us get on this break. But you're exactly right. Who would have expected they not have energy after almost losing the first game on their home floor with expectations of winning a championship? Here's a three-point attempt. No defense there. And he finally breaks the three-point drought. Derrick Rose rewarded Kyle Korver late in the game, 38 seconds the other night. Kyle Korver returns the favor, comes off the screen for a three. Players have to go up to him because he honor him. He gives it to Rose for the open three. Great Second, team. Here's Rose working against Granger. Fires it up. Hits. Basket pounds and a foul. Are you kidding me? Closest oh, thing to a smile we've seen on the face of Derrick Rose, I think, in this series. <laughs> exactly. Probably closest we'll see all year, even when he gets that trophy. Crossover goes inside. Hibbert's a seven-footer, you guys. Hibbert came over here. Here you go. He crosses over Granger, comes over. Hibbert comes for help. He gets the foul and one and a deservedly chant from the hometown fan. Rose pulls back. Hits another. Timeout, Indiana. No Darren Collins.
Allison out with a sprained ankle this entire second half and the last couple of minutes of the first. Rose again, trying to draw the foul and does. Bulls with the ball leading by two as we approach yeah, two minutes to go that, in the fourth. Rose with the lay-in. Are they going to let the scars... That first step is a motherfucker, though, for real. This loss hurt them in front of their home crowd. I don't think so. And I know the fans of Indiana will be ready. That'll be it. Well, the Indiana Pacers did not win these two games, but they proved that their effort was no fluke. That's right. When they come home, trailing two to nothing. All right, thank you, Dick. Derek, another outstanding performance by you, but another... Can't do nothing with that man, man. You couldn't do nothing with this man. You just couldn't. Shit is fucking ridiculous how fast this man was. Well, hit me up, man. Let me know what y'all think of Prime Time D Rose. Do y'all consider him one of the top point guards of all time? Do y'all think he's deserving? And I mean truly deserving to be in the Hall of Fame. That's a tough one, man, because he it's hard. I want him to go there, man. I do, but it's hard, man. It's hard because he didn't stay on top long because of the injury. But just imagine if this man never would have got hurt. He definitely would have won a championship with the Bulls. Damn. I'm going to get on out of here, y'all, because I'm getting heated, man. I'm hot. Every time I watch these Derrick Rose uh, clips and shit, these, uh, it pisses me off. He just had to fucking get hurt. And if y'all watch that game, he tried to slice through the fucking hole, get through, what, two defenders, and to fuck this motherfucking leg up, man. Oh, just thinking about it. And a lot of people out there get pissed off like I do. I know they do. Joaquin Noah, he was just he had an interview not too long ago and he actually got frustrated because he know how good the Bulls were back then. He know they would have won multiple championships if it was for Jarek Rose getting hurt. They had a great team. They had great chemistry. Alright, let me get on out of here, y'all. I'm getting heated. I'm out.